Hey, question I get often, can I trust science? Can I believe in God? Is it okay to be a science geek and have faith? Let's talk about it. Hey, I'm Mike Lawrence, lead pastor here at Faith Community Church. And today's question is, can I trust science and believe in God? And this is a real important question to me because I'm a science geek. I mean, my favorite genre, science fiction. Don't tell anybody that. <laughs> Honestly, I think the answer is yes, but I know you want a little bit more than that. Let's think for a moment, and this is what I had to do in my own life, is to remember that science and theology, that's all about God, all about science, two different fields of thought. They address completely different questions. Science is all about what we observe through our five senses. It's the what question. What is nature? What am I seeing, tasting, hearing, touching, smelling all around me? And the how does it all work together? Whereas, you know, God is about the why behind it. Why does it exist? And is there purpose behind it? Look, at I love science. And I, I mean, I, I watch National Geographic and I watch the documentaries, Nature Show. Loved it. You know, and, but the thing that it shows me is that there's, there's an order to creation. That's why the trust word is really interesting to me because to trust something means it needs to be reliable, it needs to be consistent, it needs to be predictable. We believe that these laws that we discover through science can be found anywhere on the planet. So look at, if I'm sitting in this chair and I try to sit down without a chair, Gravity takes over and I fall down. And we believe that no matter where I am on the planet, I'm still gonna to fall to the ground without a chair because gravity is a consistent and reliable law. That's science, right? But science has its limitations. I mean, we can't measure the universe. It's infinite. Or how do we know how many planets there are around all the stars that we see in the sky? Or, Every time we think we've gotten to the smallest particle of matter, we just discover something below it. It's so vast, and as human beings, we're limited in it. So even when I say we trust in science, we trust knowing that there's limitations to our ability to trust in science. Theology is the study of God, right? the infinite who is above nature, who is supranatural, completely different field of study. Now, when you ask the question, can you trust science and can you believe in God? The answer is yes. You know, I was looking and I found this great quote, uh, Werner Heisenberg, like one of the fathers of quantum physics was a devout Christian. This is what he wrote. Although I am now convinced that scientific truth is unassailable in its own field, I've never found it possible to dismiss the content of religious thinking as simply part of an outmoded phase in the consciousness of mankind. A part we shall have to give up from now on. Do you understand what he's saying? This is the father, one of the fathers of quantum physics, and he doesn't see any incompatibility between faith and science. He thinks that we'll be pursuing both of those. Now, look, I think it takes a lot of faith to believe in science, which is interesting, right? We think as science is the concrete, but honestly, I think it takes a lot of faith to believe that the laws that we study are going to be consistent. And when I talk to people who don't believe that there's a God behind the order of creation or nature, it always amazes me the amount of faith it takes to believe that order came out of chaos, that something random produced an ordered structure of what I can experience into the world that developed not only into the laws of nature, but into the complex arrangements of living beings doesn't it seem a little bit more logical to believe that there is design behind that? That there is a rational mind, wise and creative, who's creating all that I'm experiencing and studying in science. So this was a huge insight to me when I was in my master's program studying. You know, in our scriptures, we call it the Bible, in the very beginning, the first couple of pages, it's a book called Genesis, because the Bible is actually a collection of books, right? And the first book is called Genesis. The title means beginning. It's all about the beginning of creation. Now, some people look at that and they mock it, you know, but I pulled back and I really thought about this through the lens of science. 
Because in that story, our story in the scriptures, it talks about water preceding land mass, which then brought about vegetation. Then there's sea creatures. Then there's avian life. Then there's animals. Then there's humans. From our perspective in the 21st century, what a remarkable understanding of the order of events that would have come about in creation as we understand it. But you gotta put it into its cultural context because at the time when that was written, thousands and thousands of years ago, they were talking about the battles of the gods and with dragons and ripping open dragons and taking the matter out and creating and there was all sorts of weird theories out there about creation. But in the beginning of our scriptures, it's a very scientific approach to the creation of the world and all of its and all of existence. Now I love it. I love it because science is the study of the what and the how. Theology is the study of the why. In the book of Genesis, those first few passages in our Bible is talking about address the why. The why is that God wanted relationship with his creation. And isn't it interesting that of all that was created, humans are the only ones who seek to know what they can't know or what they don't know, the divine. I believe, and this is in that story, it's the fingerprint of God on human beings and his desire and his pursuit to know us. And that's why I think you can trust science, believe in this pursuit, understanding its limitations, and also believe in God. It's remarkable how those two can come together in a great way that provides a synergy to life. Hey, that's the question for today, and I'll tell you, <laughs> there's a lot more you can say about that question. So look, the best thing to do is to start a relationship with us. If you thought this video was helpful, like it. If you want, subscribe to it, because we're gonna be talking about more questions. Matter of fact, if you have a question, throw it in a comment. We would love to be able to address it. The best thing to do is to bounce over to our website, and join our community, even virtually. We can help you anywhere in the world to explore these questions of faith, to build relationships, and to answer some questions that you may have. Thanks guys, really enjoyed spending this time with you.